Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what say unto you? I say unto you, watch. Jesus answered and said unto them, John, show John again those things which you do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Such wonderful words of the great healings that Jesus did uh, recounted in Matthew's Gospel. But I say that we are in end times, that you should know that the time is coming. So seek ye the kingdom whilst it may be found. You will not possibly find it in this world. In fact, you will not find it in this world because this is a fallen world. But here we see that the blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and there is still leprosy today, even in Europe. And the dead are raised up. As far as I know, no Pope, no Archbishop of Canterbury, no Iman, no Buddhist holy man has raised the dead. And if they had have done, we would have heard about it. Only Jesus was able to do these things. The Son of Man, God's Son, who came to heaven to save sinners. It's not always easy, of course, to understand what the Bible is saying. But of course, the more you study it, the more you read it, the more you learn about it, you will find that the words come out of the pages. But as it says here, seek and ye shall find. The word is holy, the word does go out. All of us are on a journey from the day that we're born, and in a way we are dying from the day that we are born. Some will live to see 70, some sadly will be in their 20s or 30s. But each of us has the mark of death on him, which of course is the original sin. And each of us needs a saviour, and that saviour came into the world to hang on a cross 2,000 years ago for your sins and mine. That sin is wiped away when you come to the Lord, when you repent of all of that, then get on your knees, brother, and repent, because you know that you will not be your God, that you will be the Savior. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. Sure, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in all Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. From that day on the word went out to be preached throughout the world. And that's what we are here today in this city, giving out Bible tracts, reading the gospel, that people may know that we are in end times. The good news is that a Saviour came 2,000 years ago to hang on a cross to be scourged, to be spat upon. None of you will ever go through what he went through at the cruelty of those Roman soldiers. But all of you can benefit from this book by being born again and repenting, by taking a tract. As I said at the beginning, John said to, Jesus said to John, all of those things that you see, tell people, the lepers were cleansed, 
the dead were raised up, and the poor had the gospel preached to them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.